Mom, and tell them about the superstitions they had back oh, in. Oh, yeah. The grannies and all of the, the older people had so many superstitions. I think they were Irish. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's where the superstition came from, Irish. Yeah. Hmm. One superstition I have, and never found what the reason for it, um, at Easter, on Good Friday, uh, my mom, the night before, would hide all the soap, so we could not make soap suds on Friday, Good Friday. And I don't know what the superstition was, but we couldn't use soap on Friday, hmm. Good Friday. Any other kind of rituals or traditions like that in your family? Oh, I used to sit around and tell ghost stories. <laughs> I don't know what was true and what was not. <laughs> we, we growing up loved to hear those ghost stories. Yes. Oh, they were wonderful. That was one of our favorite things was getting Thelma to tell us the stories yeah. and sing to us. Yeah. She had all these wonderful songs. A lot of railroad songs. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And she's... She sang them to my kids and my grandkids and what, songs? the songs. Yeah, <laughs> I remember my grandpa uh, holding me on his knee, bouncing me on his knee, and singing to me. He's, I, one song I especially remember was called Willie Weaver, and it was an adult song. I don't, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> But Grandpa sang that song to me. I still remember all the words to it. <laughs> Don't say them. <laughs> da, Granny and who was it with Granny was always playing tricks on people. My aunt. Which? Aunt Loni. Aunt Loni. Aunt Loni and Granny were always playing tricks on people. Tell who was it that they played the trick on? It was Mom half brother. He was really superstitious. <laughs> And uh, what was his name? Tom. Tom Painter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Tom was came up to get Uncle Sam to cut his hair. Well, Mom and they, well, they couldn't pass up a, a good chance to play a trick on him. So while they were, he was cutting his hair in the kitchen. And that's another story I will tell you about. <laughs> um, but anyway, they were cutting his hair. So they got a little bit of hair and tied a red thread around it and uh, put that little bit of hair in his po coat pocket. Was His coat was hanging up. And he walked with a cane. Yeah. He, and uh, so they put that in left that red string hanging out of the pocket so he'd be sure to see it. Well, when it's time to go home, they helped him get his coat on. He, that wasn't his coat. <laughs> he, he saw that thread. He saw that red thread. to put that coat on. So uh -huh. they helped him get his coat on. And <laughs> he left. He forgot all about his cane. <laughs> they watched him go down the road and forgot all about his cane. <laughs> so he was in a hurry to get out of there. <laughs> he thought somebody put a spell on him. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, and it was boy. a lot of people back there in the mountain. And I think they probably still do. I think somebody put a spell yeah. on him. Hmm. Like if somebody's cow would die, <laughs> they'd say somebody put a spell on them cause their cow to die. Oh, or dry up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was uh, it you were going to talk about in the kitchen? Oh, it was a um, this um, a latch string. Did you ever hear of a latch string? Somebody say yeah. the latch string is out. Yeah. Latch well, they had uh, this one house. It had a. It must have been built to fight the Indians because it was a log building and it had this real heavy wooden door and a big bolt on the back side, in the side, and it had a string on that latch. You put that latch down and pull the string out, was nobody going to get in there. And that's why somebody say, the latch string is out. Oh. Well, it, you could get in, but if it, you had to pull that last string out, it was nobody going to get a, that door open. Mm. So, hmm. if you hear anybody say the last that's string is out, <laughs> that's what they mean. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, they're all going to come in. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, there was a lot of superstitions. Were there any 